Hello, y'all. Uh, I'm going to talk about these, uh, Ed and Rachel doing this adventure riding C90 adventures on Honda C90s. In this particular episode, they're going across Canada in the wintertime. And it's just amazing, uh, seeing these two do it. And they're literally riding in minus 30 degree weather at times, camping out overnight into it also. But they had this hilarious episode where someone reported them as being a hazard on the roadway. And it was a complete straightaway where evidently this guy's girlfriend had trouble passing them on a, on a straightaway on dry, you know, fairly dry pavement considering it was wintertime. But anyway, he has a Ed that's uh, shown right here as a classic response to the uh, guy that wrote him a blog letter uh, named Richie. I'll let you check it out. It's freaking hilarious. On the Honda Facebook page, she had a rather interesting rant on there from a guy called Richie. You remember the cop that pulled us over because someone reported us riding on the road? Well, the person that reported us was Richie. Now, obviously I don't have any footage of him, so I'll have to reenact Richie typing his rant. Tell you guys what, my girlfriend damn near crashed after trying to pass you two in Manitoba. What you're doing is not an adventure, it's bloody dangerous. If one wishes to be adventurous and base jump or parachute, race cars, etc., they're risking their own lives only. What you're doing brings the general travelling public potentially into a dangerous situation. How do you think some poor driver would feel if he came around a corner in less than ideal conditions like we had last Friday? And here you two were, on the edge of a lane, driving well below the posted speed limit, and he, she, had to choose to either hit you, hit the ditch, or head into an oncoming lane. I was convinced someone would be peeling you off of the grill of a semi. How about the poor cop that may have to inform your loved ones that he was the one who peeled your remains off the bumper? Adventures are fine, but this is thoughtless and a bloody danger to all of us who travel up here. Motorcycles are for summer, not February, on the Trans-Canada and Northern Ontario. If you insist on riding in winter, do it while the rest of us are not affected by your wanton carelessness. Rant finished. Thanks for scaring the hell out of her. Oh, Richie, I've been waiting a long time to do this. First off, thank you very much for the photos that you took of us while driving one-handed behind us. We don't often get that camera angle. But let's address that your girlfriend nearly killed herself while overtaking us, shall we? Using Google Street View, I found you took your photos here, next to Dawson Road and Station Road, which is here, on a 20 fucking mile long straight. If your girlfriend can't overtake here, I really don't think she should be driving. Also, these less than ideal conditions that you describe, in your photo, you can see these trees, which are 1.2 miles away. If you think this is limited visibility, I don't think you should be driving either. As for riding where the rest of us aren't affected, the centre of Canada only has one road in the centre of it, which cyclists, tractors and pedestrians are all allowed on, because there's only one road. But the thing that really pisses me off, Richie, is that there's people like you that think it's your God-given right to not be delayed by 30 seconds just because you and your girlfriend are arseholes. We pull over regularly to let cars pass if needed, or we ride on the right-hand side of the road to let them pass easily. We never ride in poor conditions, which was proven in this video and in the Alaska video when we got a 500-mile lift just to avoid retards like you and your girlfriend that can't drive. The roads are always grippy when we ride. If your girlfriend comes around a corner and has no choice but to crash when she comes up behind a vehicle traveling in the same fucking direction as her, she should not be driving, she has limited brain function, and if you're having sex with your girlfriend, I think you've overstepped your position of responsibility in being her carer. Slow the fuck down. We're still way faster than a bicycle or a tractor, and you should not be driving expecting to hit them if they're around a corner. Oh, and rather ironically, thank you very much for endangering our lives and causing us to ride at night. Dickwad, 